hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh thank you for coming back and in this video i will be showing you how you can publish a map on arcgis online and not just only that also how to make an app you know make an app out of a map or a particular data set that that you are working with or you're giving so um today i have today i have um the shapefile of united states all the states in the united states the shapefile and also this is a long cancer mortality and you can see here different um states and then cancer type particularly lung cancer as as i've mentioned earlier and then working the data is 2016 to 2020 and then it's all as you can see into all count population so this counts population adjusted age age adjusted rates so we're going to the goal or the idea here is to be able to publish this map online and make a make a, make a website on an app out of it and we can have uh we can have um you know a link that i would also uh possibly attach on the on the that can attach on the map or somewhere down when i'm about to post the video and you can always click and then you know play around it yourself so let's get into the video so i have first of all we need to see the two data sets and we know they are different and however we since they're different we need to be able to bring them together since they are different uh, so this is a shape file and then this is a table so we need to add the table to the shape file as i've told you all um in previous videos you must have seen how to do it john and today we will be adding we'll be using n slash a for what we'll be adding with um for a, the joint table with state shape file fd1 so they are both of them has like related uh, properties since they are well numbered according to the states so let's quickly do that so to join you come to the states and add join and remember it's fd1 and then for this is na so you join so now if i go back to this and click on this i have my data set and you can see n a slash n slash a i mean and then whatever all the data set that is associated with it already joining this shape file so now we could just go ahead and publish but before we do that we also want to make um export this feature out first because if you don't do that possibly you might run out of issue in trying to publish it i don't know why but um let's see we'll probably uh, so when you export it it kind of creates the same data set and gives you the whole thing intact and now we will be now we will be um removing the join removing the join from the set to the table okay so we've removed the join for this particular feature so if you go to this you you will just have what is used to be and not just the no longer the component of this particular data set but just for the state but if you come here and you click attribute you this one has the whole data set because we already created it when um we, when these two were joined so we made 
more like a third feature that has both of the components and we still want to have these ones as they are so that has been having said that already then we go ahead and click share and web map and we want to label this long cancer mortality you so well we, if it's unchecked for everybody so that's my institution of study currently so if you un i mean assuming it's all unchecked you would always want to do everyone so that everyone can you know see the video and then if you also want to do like a location you you put all these things of summary what it's all about um you could say um long cancer mentality 2016 to 2022 whatever you want to write there you could just put it in and tag it tag is for like it just be like uh long long cancer so you just like put us whatever you want it to be tagged with you know so but i'll just leave that and then click analyze so it says um error so just error zero zero three seven um let me check that okay okay i'll do auto assign and then do that again so nothing more so i'll click share so it's running and i'll get back when it's done so now we're done and it's successful and we can now it's it's like published already online successful so you can now check your agis online um depending on the institution or where you work with a university you can now check your agis online so i've opened that for mine and logged in so this is mine and these are got some other stuff, things that i have and then i just it's already here so i just click on that and if you want to view it you could just say open map and let's say it's i don't want i don't like the name so probably say um so probably say So just use that and and save. Okay. So remember, you have to always save and what again? I. So now it's online, and then the next thing is for us to we want to publish this on the map. We want to make like an app out of it so that. You can send to people and then they can search for things and you know and, and like it's kind of creates a user experience for them so we'll go back again and so remember it's everyone you want the whole public to see and make use of it and then you also use so in the web and you come to create web app you have like a whole lot of things you can do with it you can create a stand app experience builder agis online um dashboard web app builder so there are a lot of things you can do with it but today we're focusing on instant app and if you would want like a video about experience builder um, agis online or dashboard um just let me know in the comment section and then you can I can always do that so what i want to do today is instant app so i click on that and now i have like a tons of 
you know things that you would like to select and depending on what you want to do or anything it could be a portfolio that you want to like have an online presence and you could just make that online and then build yourself a portfolio that people can easily um if you're applying for a job you could just have it there and they can easily click on it on the website and then you know get to know you more so but today we'll be focusing on the basic so you can always preview to see what it looks like first before what your website is going to look like first before um, doing any of them so this is what it's going to look like if i you know if i use this so you can choose there or you can go back but i just went back and choose here so in case if i want to retire to my name i have that option there for tags you can these are like other 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 um work i have done so i don't want to tag it i just create a and so it's created but i still have um some adjustment or edit schedule and first of all you would wanna come here and then i just select a map or screen so let's say you don't oh sorry um okay so view map next so you want a header and then you want a legend you want um, pop up locations if you click it just pops right up and pop up position you want your top right top left and i will leave it at top right text alternative text alternative for the map so let's see what it's saying Add a description that provide the text equivalent in your map. Okay, well, I'm not sure we want to do that now. Shortcut menu. We'll, let's see. So we check that and then and then okay and then click next. Disable scroll layer list. Um, we don't want to disable scroll so that people can still zoom in and zoom out screenshot if you want to take a screenshot good enough share start I mean search and search open at start um we just want to leave the search and it's still here so we're using the address what you could in service um next so screen mode do you want it to be dark or do you want it to be light then team do you want it how do you want to look like this or like the color you want so i'll go with uh, not so I'll go with rose and um, seems about everything is okay and we can i'm looking for something in particular uh, let's see mm. okay next uh, okay Next, let's check these our sources. Let's check these. Let's um, next. Okay. Well, I guess well. 
So like in, like in but let's it's this is more like an example of a lot of things you can do with it also. So let's publish this and and see. So copy link and I launch it. So now um it's time to like test some of the stuff we selected there so this is montana and then now you can see um you can see mortality you can see that it's you know it's like a website out of it already and you can close that you could click on texas it pops up and you can click on You can click on um so it's you can click on that and then it shows you what it's about you can also search so it shows you in case okay in case when you click on this show more result okay well you don't need that so it shows you what is going on there and then you can always that's for search and you can always you know do a whole lot of other things here you can zoom out you can zoom in So this is it guys and there are tons of other things you can do but this is just the very few things we've done in this video and then now we have a map published online so um let me know in the comment section if if you would want to see video for other ones too and so again this is just the the most basic thing we don't have to i mean the data set model maybe might not be really correct but uh whatever like it's not really the set might not be really correct but the end uh, what i wanted to, to take from this is that um this is how you can publish and map an sgs online and then also this is also how you can create a website out of it so with that in mind thank you for watching please like share subscribe and then um comment don't forget to comment um the video that you would want to see in the next um what you will want to see in the next video maybe something you're finding out in finding hard or difficult in like gis online or like gis pro let me know and i will try to make a video on that do have a wonderful day bye